let's take 63 and divide it by 35. So the first thing that we might say is, okay, well 35 doesn't go into six. It does go into 63. It goes into 63 one time, because two times 35 is 70, so that's too big. So it goes one time, so let me write that. It goes one time. One times 35 is 35. And then if we were to subtract, and we can regroup up here, we can take a 10 from the 60, so it becomes a 50. Give that 10 to the three, so it becomes a 13. 13 minus five is eight. Five minus three is two. So you could just say, hey, 63 divided by 35. Let me write this. You could say 63 divided by 35 is equal to one remainder 28. One remainder 28. But this isn't so satisfying. We know that the real answer is going to be one point something, something, something. So what I want to do is keep dividing. I want to divide this thing completely and see what type of a decimal I actually get. And to do that, I essentially have to add a decimal here and then just keep bringing down decimal places to the right of the decimal. So 63 is the exact same thing as 63.0, and I could add as many zeros as I might want to add here. So what we could do is we just make sure that this decimal is right over there, and we can now bring down a zero from the tenths place right over here, and you bring down that zero, and now we ask ourselves, how many times does 35 go into 280? And as, as always, this is a bit of an art when you're dividing a two-digit number into a three-digit number. So let's see, it's definitely gonna be, let's see, if I were to say, so four, 40 goes into 280 seven times. 30 goes into 280 about, well, it goes about nine times. So it's gonna be between seven and nine. So uh, let's, let's, let's try eight. So let's see what 35 times eight is. 35 times eight. Five times eight is 40. Three times eight is 24, plus four is 28. So it actually works out perfectly. So 35 goes into 280 exactly exactly eight times. Eight times five, well, we already figured it out. Eight times 35 is exactly 280, and we don't have any remainder now. So we don't have to bring down any more of these zeros. So now we know exactly that 63 divided by 35 is equal to exactly 1.8.